What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Y'all know what I need y'all to do: be sure to like, comment, share the video, man. We back with another cautionary tales about the streets, man. I hope y'all listening. Watch the video to the end. You feel me? Cause it's jewels in this video. But let's get right to it. Sometimes being in the wrong place at the wrong time can have consequences that a person can't come back from. We all know that what we call the hood or our blocks have claimed the life of many, whether it's the streets, competition, or a bystander getting shot by a straight bullet. It kind of becomes normal after a while, even though it shouldn't be. Being from the streets or wanting to be from the streets has claimed many souls. The streets are undefeated in all 50 states of America. On some occasions, people got caught up playing a game that is rigged. For one Baltimore man, it was a roller coaster in the East Baltimore streets. A.W. found himself being Baltimore's most wanted in 2017 on the infamous Greenmount Avenue. A home was firebombed in March of 2017 that took the lives of two people aged 19 and 17 and injuring six others. And police in the hood were all pointing fingers at A.W. Let's rewind back before the bombing. A group of people were walking towards their home that was bombed before all this happened when shots rang out. Someone was firing at the group. One person was injured. Thankfully, the kids in the group were okay. The night of the fire, witnesses alleged they heard A.W. screaming in the streets. Someone gonna get it tonight. Right before the incident, it also didn't help A.W. lived in the area. Not too long after BCPD put out a warrant for the arrest of A.W., accusing him of the shooting and bombing, and labeling him public enemy number one. The case was high profile due to the nature of the crime. A reward was put out. A.W. eventually surrendered to authorities, claiming he was innocent and never committed the crime. He was firm. Everything was just allegations. As the trial started, Witnesses testified seeing him in the area that night of the arson and hearing the alleged statement. But A.W.'s wife testified he was home the whole night of the incident. A.W. would eventually end up beating both cases, leaving some people angry and some confused. After his acquittal, A.W.'s family urged him to leave the neighborhood, as a lot of his friends were fatally shot on the same blocks. But it's just something about the allure of the streets that takes more from us than we ever get back. But some people love it. Once you are charged with anything that took the lives of people, even if you are innocent, it's a bad idea to go in the same area of the victim's families. Grief and anger can be a deadly combination. And in A.W.'s case, this would be not a different situation. A.W. was found with gunshot wounds in East Baltimore. He was taken to John Hopkins Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. Family said after his death, A.W. had a lot of potential. He just could not stay away from the hood. Whether A.W. was innocent or guilty in this situation, I don't know. I'm not the judge, only the most high know that. But I do know nothing in the streets go unpunished. He say, she say, Finessing somebody, even showing too much love. Why is it that we love blocks and hoods so much, especially if we don't own nothing on them? Some say that's all they know, but is it they all they know or all they choose to know? Maybe because as black people, we never knew our real home or where we really came from. But I can say you can't beat the streets, no matter how tough or real you are. It always wins at the end. Man, this is a crazy story, man. I send my condolences to the family of the people that lost their life because it was two young men. Even a four-year-old had got injured in the bombing, but, you know, she survived. But that's a tough situation because I had a family member that something similar happened to, you feel me? He got a bunch of time. Somebody said they heard him say something on the block at night in South Baltimore, and the dude he was talking to something ended up happening to him that same night. So of course they thought my cousin 
did it because it's, it's a long story, you feel me? But because people heard him say something and he got a lot of time from that situation and he say he ain't do it and I believe him. But yeah, man, like in this situation, you know, A.W. lost his life and a lot of people saying it's from retaliation from the alleged claims that was on him, but I'm not sure if he really was innocent or not. The state's attorney and all of them was saying, oh, we sure we got the right man. We sure we had the right man, but you know how that go. You feel me? But man, that's tough because at the end of the day, like I was telling y'all, like the streets undefeated. You feel me? We can't beat the streets. I don't care how thorough you is, how much of a savage you is, how smart you think you is. There's always somebody out there smarter. There's always somebody out there plotting a little more than you. There's always somebody out there that'll go that extra mile. So at the end of the day, ain't nobody winning, you feel me? And that's what it took me to really wake up and open my eyes, like, man, it's a lose-lose. Like, all the family I lost, whether it's to the streets or to prison, when I do talk to my loved ones that's locked up, they feel like, man, like, it wasn't even worth it, you feel me? At the end of the day, like, no matter what you doing out here, man, the consequences just too, it's too big, you feel me? Like an old head told me, the reward, don't outweigh the risk. It ain't worth it, you know what I mean? And in Bro's situation, you know he lost his life. And you know, it was bold for him to still be hanging in that same area. I don't know his ties to the area. I mean, I'm sure he was from there, but sometimes it ain't about being a sucker or being weak. If you know you got some serious beef like that and people want your head like that, you gotta separate yourself because eventually, it's going to come to an end, you know what I mean? Somebody going to get up on you, you feel me? Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace, them young people that lost their life. That was a serious situation, you know what I mean? And now the city got this whole Baltimore's Most Wanted thing where though they rating the crime you did, if you did something real crazy, then they put you on the Most Wanted. And that was the situation with him. But man, I just feel like, man, at the end of the day, I know some people dedicated to this lifestyle, you know what I mean? Them ain't the people I really be talking to because some people feel like they gonna do this to the end. But the people that's thinking about either getting in this lifestyle or in this lifestyle and trying to find a way out, it's light at the end of the tunnel, but you gotta want it. You gotta want to get out for real. Like, you can't be halfway in, halfway out. That's the quickest way to get knelt out here because it's people that's really in it. And you second guessing stuff and they not second guessing, you feel me? But yeah, this is another episode of the Baltimore Way. This the AW story. I appreciate the love and support. Be sure to like, comment, share the video. If you're feeling the content, let me know who y'all want to see next. Love, fam. I'm out.